Hey guys, uh, in this second part of the table view, uh, I'll be showing you now how now you can submit this uh, uh, value of the selected item. So to do this now, we'll create, we'll go back to the scene builder. So uh, you can, if you can remember, we designed our interface in the scene builder. So now come and select uh, the table view, then this table view. And now we'll look for a method on mouse click so that when the mouse is clicked, we'll be seeing uh, is anything uh, selected, has anything been selected? And uh, if it, it has been selected, what can you do? So, and I will show you now uh, another thing. So in mouse click, let us add some method here. Now we'll display selected. But uh, we have written uh, display selected, but we don't know where will we be seeing the selected item. So we will need uh, something like a text or a text field. Uh, for this case, I'll be just using a text field. So let us type in a text field, drag and drop this text field inside the view box. And then after doing that, we can resize this text field. And come here and give this text field an ID, and we'll call it read. Uh, after doing that now, come to the properties, make it not uh, editable, and then again, make it more transparent. So save this project, and then after doing that now, uh, now you can resize this, and then come to the FXML file in the NetBeans and uh, make the controller. So once you make this controller, we, we have now some values here. So right away, uh, let us now uh, get the selected value. So to do that now, we will call that the class contact. Contact. And uh, we'll, I'll, I'll uh, call an object uh, of the class contact. And I'll just name it, uh, uh, name, uh, or just, let me just say, uh, person. So that is the the name of the constructor, construct, and then here I'll call uh, I'll call uh, sorry. So I'll call the name of the table. So our table is contact view. So let me just copy here, and paste it here, contact view, and then we get the selection model. So into brackets and then now get the selected item. So uh, that's it. And then uh, now we will check if uh, person uh, this handler is none uh, equals to null. So if this handler is equals to null, this object is equals to null. Uh, we can just say put uh, in a message so we don't uh, we created a message screen you can remember uh, a text field screen and gave it an id screen text so we'll just place a message here uh, nothing selected selected uh, else meaning that uh, uh, our under isn't none so what we'll be doing now so else uh, so we will get the string value of the first column simply by saying string name uh, equals to call the handler of the that class parcel then dot get name so you can see a list of the methods that are here below uh, these methods because this one has a return type of string so we we'll, we simply we are getting the value of this return. Uh, name dot get so whatever will be uh, taken from the simple string property here uh, will be returned uh, uh, that in, with this method so this is a public method uh, of return time string so whatever will be returned here is what we are calling uh, it we are declaring to the variable string so this one basically is the handler of the method uh, is the object of, um, uh, of the class contacts and uh, uh, it will be assigning whatever is returned from this method uh, to the new variable string name so what you will do let us just now get the, the the value of the resident so i'll just call it left and then uh, person 
uh, dot so here we use this dot get trace so this one basically is the method or uh, the value that will be returned the string value or the string value that will be returned in this method here because this method has a return type of string meaning that uh, in this method after this method oh, uh, happens uh, there's some string value that will should be returned uh, here and this is where that is the string value that uh, will be rest and then now uh, the last one is string uh, contact let me just say string contact and then i'll say the handler i'll call it call the handler and then a pointer this is uh, this this is uh, what actually is pointer in java effect in java so this is a pointer it points to something so in this object it will be pointing to the method to, to the methods inside the, uh, the, the the object so basically this is the method which is pointing out okay, just copy it and paste it directly and uh, that's it so after doing that now uh, we 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 can now display the information uh, in the screen so what we'll be saying is uh, screen dot set text so into brackets first of all uh, let me say uh, name so we'll be displaying the name selected and then i'll add uh, name and then after doing that so after doing that now we'll add uh, another string and then that one will be holding our 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 residence so residence so residence and give it some space and then I will add and then plus sign and then let me add a uh, contact or phone contact or just me say contact so let me give, give it this some space and then after doing that now I will add uh, the contact so I give the string count so that's it and uh, end it with the same color so after doing that uh, now we are good to go uh, let us build our application and see what happens so when we build this uh, uh, now I think we have done everything that uh, is required from us uh, now you have understand why we call these objects because these are called objects it's just like a representative of the class now you see it's, it, it just represents the, the, the class so sorry so uh, let us run this application you know, and see what happens. So uh, when you uh, select nothing, you can see the message displayed uh, quite well because the handler, uh, the object created here, person, is null, meaning that nothing has been selected so far. But when you select something, you can see it brings now some value. Uh, some values are displayed: the name, the residence, and the contact. No, don't very compressed because you don't work with the font or everything. Uh, you can see now you can it selected the item, uh, the string the value. Uh, person dot get now it got the, the uh, it gets the the what is in this selected. First of all, it gets the row here. Uh, and then and string name it get the selected item yeah this way you get the selected item by getting the selection model and then getting the selected item and then again uh, you come and get the string value of the name here and then uh, uh, calling using the the object of the class contacts you can now point it out to the method that gives the variable get num and now that is the that and it has a string return type and it gets the value and assign it to the string value name so now it displays it here so it displays it here and then you get this value place it here so you see now you can get uh, now the value of the selected cell uh, uh, very simple but or you can just get the value of the selected draw and now i uh, individually like here get the selected cell so if you want to find for the first column this is the code for the first column that this is the another for the second column and the third one for the third column so that was it about uh, how you can get values uh, the selected item in table views and the java effects and fxml so thank you for watching this video uh, hope you learned something 
about uh, table views and Java FX and Java uh, uh, FX FXML. So uh, just stay tuned to this to the channel, and I'll show you now uh, the use of this. What we have learned today in a real world application uh, in creating maybe something like a menu management system where you have a list of items where you're supposed to create a menu, uh, select anything from a menu or a table view and uh, displaying it uh, maybe as an order or uh, in a stock uh, in invent inventory management system or something like that. I'll show you the multiple use of uh, what you have learned today uh, in more of our tutorials uh, in Java. So hope you learned something. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, always remember to subscribe uh, and uh, be watching these videos to learn more about Java. So